Welcome guys to another episode of uh, Chrono Trigger playthrough. Uh, so, last time we just ended outside this little cathedral and also I've been looking into different recording systems and I'll have to thanks uh, Xerxes for uh, taping me about the new uh, video recording program that I will that I'm using and also I hope that the sound quality will be a little better this time because of a friend telling me that well he had problem hearing my vo voice so I hope it's gonna be better and Xerxes channel is also gonna be down in the description but okay we are here in a cathedral so well they are just ordinary nuns, as you can see, and they are just giggling around. Um, yeah. Hmm. Wait, what do you... Um, she thinks we are delicious. And also nothing else here. So we'll talk to her. And... Uh, <coughs> well, hmm. Wait a second. What's here? Let's see what it is. Okay, we found something. It's a hairpin. It's the royal crest on it. Um, this looks kind of suspicious. Oh my god! Okay, these are really easy because we got ourselves the cyclone, which can damage several enemies that that are near the enemy that you are targeting. But they have, they moved. Oh, those little bitches. Uh, no take yet on her. Uh, let's see, nothing over there, so let's just attack. Ah, come on, stupid slows. Okay. Let's see what we can do this time. No, we can attack several enemies. And you'll be able to see how it looks like. As you can see, they are blinking, which means they both are losing health. So, okay, let's see, just attack normally and no crits. Oh, great. And they're. <laughs> That's not often you see. Um, yeah, the range characters, which are only two person in this game, they can also use uh, some kind of. Uh, melee based damage okay oh, come on quit hitting me no crits come on or do, do I really have to get the best weapon in the game to be able to crit okay he needs some healing soon so Kron is gonna attack oh great it's a crit! Um, just gonna tonic him up. And let's see. Nothing. Come on, die! Die, you little naga pet. Uh, yes. Strange names, I know, but what can I do? And. As I said, uh, I'm gonna try and fix it ev up everything and hope that the audio of my beautiful voice, um, yeah, let's just um, say beautiful, I know it's not the best one, but okay, so we defeated them, we got four tech points, Chronos level two, Lucas level three, but I wonder how much... Oh. Never let your guard down! Oh no! What's that? Um, we've... Um, okay. So we got the... Nightly Frog that's, that's helping us. And she hates frogs! She hates frogs for everything that's worth! Oh my god! Um, yeah. So, I would say that I haven't tried 
to press the refuse, but I always go with the frog because, well, it's always good to have another guy. And yes, later in the game you will know his real name, but for now it's gonna be Frog. So yeah. Okay, we'll have to look for a hidden door and the right button this time. And as you can see, he has bronze males and bronze helmet and everything. And just gonna check 81, 3 and... Oh! Yeah, he, he has a cure spell. And he starts as level 5. Whoa. Um, and also, as you can see here, we have dual tech and triple tech. It's that uh, you can combine different magics uh, only... Uh, special ones and they will become stronger and always in old uh, RPG games investigate everything which means investigate this uh, not is it harmonica I don't know that in Swedish it's Oriel but yeah uh, some some names I have problem with but we get this door to appear so okay let's see we have enemies 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 snakes oh my god but I'm thinking of the much uh, of the better song but yeah these are called Nasher and they aren't that dangerous they're just annoying as you can see Let's see. Ah. Come on. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Stop attacking Chrono. He needs life. Okay, we got the uh, Orca 5. Woohoo. Let's see. Oops. Organize a little bit. And let's heal him up. Uh, yeah. Ah. Yeah, they think we are still in disguises, because everyone here is trying to uh, lure uh, all the royal guards and everything, so they can uh, kidnap everything and take the power. So, let's see. Okay, let's follow this little guy to see where he's going. Oh, around the corner. Let's sprint. And he just goes into the door. Okay, let's see. What's behind door number one? We got two tre treasure chests with 100 gold and an ether. We got a guard over here. We've got the queen. And they are talking about a yakra guy. Okay, hmm. We've got something here. And yes, they are singing to Magus, which is this little, uh, yeah, statue over there. And come on, let me loot, let me loot, speed belt, and stop doing that. And defender, the speed belt gives speed, of course, plus two speed. And protector gives stamina, which is straight up gives uh, defense and let's see and oh hey I know there's something here um, yeah okay oh. um, doesn't they wanna pick a fight with us I know that they are doing and my program module has been updated or is it? Yeah, these are the guys that's trying to attack us. It's three snakes! Yeah, it's easy. Just attack one with a crit. And yeah, as you can see, uh, Chrono, which is the main character, uses a sword, but it's the Japanese swords, the katanas. And Frog, which is a medieval knight, uses, he uses 
the typical broadsword and there we saw his crit. It's always nice to see the different crits that the characters can get. Um, he's critting a lot. And let's see, we will learn Flame Toss, which is uh, Luca's first magic, and the first dual tech, which is Flame Whirl. It's uh, when you use Cyclone, uh, when you have learned Cyclone and Flame Toss, and then you'll be able to uh, combine them into a dual tech, which provides a, f a fire cyclone. Uh, she uses the flame toss on Chrono, and he uses the Cyclone. So okay, let's see. Stop kicking me. Let me hurt you. And also, uh, something that I've forgotten to explain, that the very first turn in a fight, uh, all characters have like double or triple speed, which means that the first set of attacks always happens really quick and then it slows down to the real speed that it should be. So let's see. We've got some more money, another level, and some experience. And let's take this. Another tonic. Woohoo! Uh, we are up in the 11 minute. So okay. Just checking everything. We've got loot, loot, and loot. Maiden suit. Oh! We got the nugget bromide, and they are on us. Hooray! Okay, these are a little bit stronger, but nothing a traditional sword fight can handle, as you can see. And we can. As you can see, she will do damage in a line, a lot of damage, but it's because they are wearing uh, these uh, metal suits, which makes them also vulnerable to fire. And I forgot to mention that the sight scope that she had from the beginning, it, it tells the enemy's life, but I tend not to use it because, well, it's not needed for, for me because I'm used to all this. Just gonna loot. We've got a new weapon. And yeah, it's pretty stronger. And I'm seeing the time right here that we're nearing the 50 minute mark. So I'm gonna do a quick break here and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you around.